Hello, my name is Louisa Soakwashi and I'm a current intercalation student at UEA and also I've just finished my fourth year of medicine. For those of you who don't know what an intercalation is, an intercalation is a, if you like, sort of a gap year, but not so much a gap year, a year that you take out within your studies or for some courses um, it's um, directly been put a part of the medical um, five-year degree and essentially you can take a year out in order to do a complete different area of study so um, there are different areas that you can intercalate in if you have another personal interest um, from areas as far as for example public health and um, some people go into more specific areas with um, pre-hospital care um, for me I decided um, to intercalate in uh, um, clinical education. So I'm undertaking a master's in clinical education this year um, at the same university, UEA. And um, after that, I will resume back to my um, final year and finish my degree. So um, some people have asked me, well, why did I opt to um, intercalate? Well, um, I have a very keen interest when it comes to um, education, especially um, clinical education. And um, that's something I've always been quite keen about um, helping others um, being in um, roles whereby I can help to teach people and to make learning um, easier and more, um, I guess, ideal process for people to want to go through. So I felt doing a course like this would help me to be a better educator. And um, one key message is that um, as much as um, doctors are um, gradu graduate in order to help patients and to take care of patients, diagnose um, conditions and so forth, um, a key role of um, physicians or doctors is actually to be educators as well. So no matter what stage you are, you will always be in a position whereby you have to educate somebody. So I've told you um, a bit about um, what my current stage of study is, um, what I'm studying, why I'm studying it. So I thought before um, I kind of move on, I'll tell you a bit about how I even got to um, study medicine in the first place. So I guess uh, if you like my journey or um, kind of scientific journey, if you, uh, if you like, kind of started earlier days um, in GCSE. So um, I would say as early as GCSE or even perhaps even just um, in year seven, um, I, as of starting to study different types of subjects, a range of subjects you come across, so maths, English, history, geography and so forth, um, I definitely knew that I was somebody who was quite drawn to studying um, science. Um, I always had a personal interest and um, it always kind of drove a curiosity in me. Um, in terms of finding out answers and um, yeah it was just an area I just enjoyed studying so um, I never had too much of a problem when it came to um, you know undertaking my science classes. Another subject that I've been quite um, keen um, about studying about is maths in GCSE. Um, I love the fact that there's loads of opportunities for problem solving and um, it really helps as well because we had a fantastic and amazing um, science and maths teacher um, at the time who was had a really keen interest um, to want to actually teach us. So it even um, inspired me to have even more of an interest in the subject. So now we're kind of getting to the 11th stage where I know by, I know science is something I'm interested in, it's definitely something I want to do in future. However, science is so broad and as you can imagine, uh, maybe based on the other people you might hear about um, today, you'll find out that there are so many career paths that you can take within science. So for me, I was kind of at that limbo wondering what exactly I wanted to do. Now, assessing, looking at my personal traits, looking at things that I've been interested in and perhaps maybe influence of um, certain uh, friends that I had around me, um, I was um, quite drawn to working into healthcare. And um, I wasn't too sure which career path um, to take um, within healthcare, but I just knew that was something that I was quite interested in. So um, 
in earlier years, I decided to take a work experience in a pharmacy, um, in a boots pharmacy, in order to kind of just get an idea of what the role of a pharmacist is, what their day to day job is and so forth. And as a result of doing my work experience, I was um, quite interested and quite keen to get um, involved definitely in a field such as pharmacy. So it was definitely something I shortlisted earlier down the line. So um, now we're kind of getting to sixth form days whereby now we have to ensure our subjects are a bit more tailored to what we think we want to do. Now science was a no brainer for me. So it was very easy for me to say that I would pick biology, chemistry as well. And as well as the fact that I really enjoyed maths and maths is a good skill to have. And um, you will apply maths in all areas of science. So it's good to have um, decent math skills. So I decided to do maths as well. Um, so for my last A level, I chose to do history just because um, I thought it would be nice to have a balance of having maybe three sort of science related subjects and also having a non science subject or so an arts subject sort of. And I thoroughly enjoyed history. We had an amazing teacher. And um, again, I also find found it very interesting as well. So I think the take home message I want to say is that a lot of the subjects I picked, um, I picked them out of interest and I picked them because I knew where I wanted to go, they would be highly relevant. So now um, fast forwarding on to um, sixth form, um, whereby I now have my A-levels and I'm studying now. Now I'm starting to think about what sort of universities I want to go to. Also uh, potentially thinking about um, now I need to know what course I want to do because that's going to determine um, or may highly you know, determine what sort of um, career path I go down. So um, the thought of actually doing medicine crossed my mind previously when I was thinking about pharmacy, but I hadn't, had, I hadn't done work experience just this year. So I thought, OK, in order for me to be absolutely sure that um, I would, would like the idea of doing medicine, I decided to uptake um, work experience um, in a hospital. So um, thankfully, um, I was granted an opportunity to do experience in a local hospital. And after that experience, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I learned a whole lot just um, having been um, on that work experience. And I think from then onwards, um, I was highly convinced that this was the route I would take. And I was fairly happy that if I didn't get into medicine, I would also do pharmacy because I've explored it and realised that I do like those subjects as well. So um, that's kind of how I got to the stage or knowing that I wanted to do medicine. Now that I'm at this stage whereby I now knew that I actually wanted to do medicine, but um, I now was now in the situation I needed to determine what sort of universities I would apply to and the types of programmes that I would apply to at the universities. So um, some of you may know or may not know that um, a lot of universities now, as well as um, offering a five year course or a six year course um, for the standard um, A1100 um, course for medicine, um, we actually have in addition um, another course, what we call medicine with a gate year course. And um, this type of course essentially is an additional year whereby you have a gateway year, uh, some will call a foundation year. And this year, um, um, you are able to enter into the course with slightly lower grades, but it tends to be open to um, students who come from certain schools whereby performance is slightly a bit lower. Um, they may look at measures such as income and all those sort of things, but those um, forms of information should be on all the websites. So um, in my case, having looked at my situation, I didn't necessarily come from a um, science based school. I came from, in fact, an arts um, performing school. So obviously the priorities were not necessarily put on um, putting students towards going towards science courses. So um, a combination of reasons, I decided that I would opt to apply for some foundation year courses as well as applying for uh, five year courses as well. So um, UEA happened to be one of them. I applied to the foundation year um, course and the entry requirements were slightly a bit different to what they are right now. But um, thankfully, um, a couple of months later, I got an offer, did an interview and um, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. So now we're at the stage whereby I'm in foundation year and um, 
essentially this is kind of like a pre-year some people even called it year zero before you actually got into year one for the a100 course so during my foundation year i thoroughly enjoyed it um i had um opportunities to do um a lot of things so i had slightly a bit more free time in my foundation year. So i got involved um a lot in uni life so societies um got involved in a lot of events that were being organized um, by the student union um, I even took on some student jobs um, here and there, which was quite good. From an academic point of view, um, at the time when we had our foundation year, we would have a sort of basic science um, uh, science uh, subjects module. So we had a biology module, we had a chemistry module and a maths module. And then we then, in the second semester, had a further biology module. Now, um, all of these modules were sort of at the level would not um would sort of be at the level between sort of GCSE level and A level level I would say but um essentially this was kind of building and ensuring that we had a solidified foundation um in all our science subjects before we actually entered into the a medical degree. And um in addition to the foundation year we had a introduction to issues in healthcare a module which um, was more medical orientated so we were introduced to a lot of topics that um, I actually found out that in later years um, I covered again so what I found was that whenever when I then went into year one and joined the rest of my colleagues um, who were starting fresh year one so we'd been there a year they were starting their first year and this was my second year um, there were a lot of topics that were uh, spoken about during the whole of the course and I found that anybody that did foundation year actually had a bit of an advantage because they knew more about the areas of topic because they'd already covered um, a bit of it in foundation year which was quite um, nice and gave us a bit of reassurance that we had a bit of a foundation um, to go off but um, I am aware that foundation years may vary from university to university how they are designed but um, this is just me talking from a UEA perspective what I um, experienced a couple of years ago in time so what I wanted to do was um, tell you a bit about what my potential future plans are so at this point I think there's this famous question that a lot of medical students get oh do you know what you want to do do you know what you want to specialize in uh, do you know whether you want to be a GP or not and um, it's funny to say that I'm not actually too sure at this point in time I think um, I've kind of taken the approach to kind of whilst I've studied different modules and, and learned about different body systems, um, I've kind of seen, OK, this area is kind of interesting, this area, mm, I'm not too sure. I, I don't think I'd want to study that area. So at this point in time, I definitely don't know for exact, but I do know areas um, that are quite interesting to me at this point in time. So that's where I am at the moment. And um, it's actually OK if you don't actually know at this point in time. I guess you have some fifth year students or students who even finish and they're still not too sure um, what exactly they would want to specialise in or so forth. But um, generally, as you go through the course, there will definitely be sort of areas that you will draw an interest to. And so for some of you guys studying right now, you might find that there are areas within your subjects which you find a bit more interesting than others. So um, I've spoken quite a bit actually about myself and my journey so far. I think I just wanted to mention just a few things um, which uh, roles that I've come across or I've actually been able to um, do um, having been a part of um, the medical school so far. So um, last year I had the opportunity to be one of the med or medicine um, BAME ambassadors. So um, when we mean BAME, we mean um, this stands for Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic um, Ambassador. So um, I, this was a real privilege for me to do this. And um, essentially, the reason why I'm telling you guys a bit about it is because um, you will find that um, depending on which medical school you go to or depending on what university you go to, um, you will come across different cultures, you will come across different environments and um, it's also quite nice to know that um, there is that support um, for minority students, there is that support 
um, for those who may be minorities based on social economical background or um, there is even just support like if you entered into uh, medicine through a foundation yeah, as opposed to a direct course again there is always support at universities for these things um, part of my role meant that um, I was able to help improve um, the curriculum within the medical school um, I was able to represent my colleagues if there were any worries or queries people had at the school um, they would be able to come to me or my colleague who also was um, a medicine fame ambassador and I've worked really close with the staff at the medical school in order to implement changes and to improve things better and um, our take home message really is that we want to ensure that we are um, tackling things such as racism and discrimination within um, the medical school to make it a um, suitable environment essentially for any student to come from any background um, regardless of your um, background really. I've spoken a bit about um, what I do, um, what my current stage is at and I hope um, it may have spurred um, a bit of interest in some of you who may be willing to um, explore more um, science-based subjects or uh, subjects within the STEM bracket. Um, what I was wanting to draw to your attention is for some people they might not necessarily realise why they perhaps need to start thinking about these things um, right now or maybe exploring um, different career paths and seeing what is out there for them. Well, um, if I guess as a lot of you may know, um, you know, the world has changed quite a bit in light of um, COVID and um, as a result of that, you'll find that a big role that um, uh, doctors are playing are essentially in the hospitals, um, on the front line, sometimes within the community in order to help um, a lot of patients who are getting sick or um, to support essentially the NHS. So um, the reason why I guess our degree is quite um, important is because it's essentially supporting the future doctors um, for the NHS and um, a lot of these doctors um, actually had to finish quite early and get themselves stuck in straight in to help out with um, the pandemic at this point in time. So I guess um, some of you guys may have um, come across doctors, um, I'm sure all of you must have, um, more, some more so than others, maybe some may actually have doctors in the family or not, um, but um, one thing to note is that you, wherever you go you always have doctors, no matter what country you may end up living in or if you decide to go on holiday anywhere, doctors will be everywhere, it's just a course that um, I guess um, is quite needed because we need doctors um, everywhere. Doctors play a big role um, from a health point of view, but even if you like, um, in terms of things to do with the country, doctors play a role in that as well sometimes. So um, just to give you a bit of context as to um, how this role is relevant in this day and age or how it's relevant um, to you as um, year 10 students at this um, point in time.